In this video, I want to talk about how to reverse engineer your success and also be able to protect the downside at the same time. First and foremost, you need to have a direction, a destination that you're shooting for. So what I suggest you do is pull out a piece of paper and something to write with or a notepad online, your iPad, whatever you want to do and write out a budget for what you would like your real estate business to produce so that you can cover that overhead or whatever the expenses that you've got on a regular basis. So that way you've got a budget, you know that these are the expenses that you'd like to cover within your real estate income. And then that's the beginning part of the reverse engineering. Once you've got that number, then you've got something to work towards and then reverse engineer. So in this case, we're talking about putting deals together ultimately, but this is not only reverse engineering your success, it's also setting things up so you protect the downside so you limit your risk at the same time. Housing alerts is a big way to be able to stay out of markets that we shouldn't be investing in and then focusing in on the markets that we should be investing in. That way you're not just blindly going into areas that you think have demand, think could be good, and then ultimately you're finding out, no, these areas aren't good and you've put in your time, maybe you put in investments, maybe you've got properties there and you're thinking, gosh, I wish I had known about this sooner. That's how we protect our downside from the beginning by using housing alerts to keep out of the bad areas. We want to be able to understand the areas that have demand that are going to be good going forward. That's one way to protect the downside. The other way is to set up and understand the exit strategies that are there waiting for us in the areas that we want to be investing in so that then when we ultimately start to market to distressed homeowners in those areas, we know where the profit's going to come from so that ultimately we can go back to that budget that you've created at the very beginning, understanding that's where the money's going to be coming from, these exit strategies. And there are a number of different exit strategies. I've covered these kinds of things in other videos. Are you going to sell the property? Are you going to sell the contract? Are you going to keep the property? Are you going to rent out the property? Are you going to do a lease with an option to purchase with an end user? So there are a number of different ways to potentially get the cash register to ring but it's important to understand what exit strategies are there and then start to build those relationships with class three rehabbers. Those are people that are actively looking for properties to fix up so they can be making their real estate business work. So we are providing a need for them and that is the properties that they're ultimately going to be fixing up. So we need to find those rehabbers. We then need to start finding out what it is they need, create that relationship, understand their criteria so we know how we should be structuring those deals. That's just one exit strategy, but that's another way to not only reverse engineer your success with that relationship created so you understand where your money is coming from when you've got a deal, but also you're protecting the downside by finding these types of exit strategies, the relationships that need to be created to make those exit strategies work first. So you're not finding yourself in an area that you know that is a good area, but you don't have the exit strategy set up yet. You found the deal and then you're wondering, how am I gonna make this deal work? How can I turn it into cash? So by protecting yourself, by creating the relationships, you then are protecting the downside by having the exit strategies in place and then you're focusing in on the distressed homeowner who needs our help right now. So that way, when we talk to them, we understand how we should be putting this deal together based on the exit strategy. So we know this is going to work. We're going to be able to then make that deal work so that it is generating income and ultimately covering some of the expense that's on that budget that you created in the beginning. And then you can think, okay, how many of these kind of deals do I need to do in order to cover all of the expenses on the budget? And then ultimately more than that, because as you're starting to dial this in, then you're starting to get momentum, traction, and then we want to just repeat this process as many times because then it can flow. You've got the systems in place so that you know how many times you need to do this in order to cover that budget and then more. I hope that helps. I'll share more with you in the next video.